After last week's triple threat match, we found out one half of the main event of Judgment Day, and that is Roman Reigns going to possibly become the next AEW champion. We'll see, but welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw. We are live in Los Angeles, California, and boy, do we have a stacked show for you tonight. Let's see. First things first, we have our second triple threat match determined who will face Roman Reigns for the vacated WWE Championship at Judgment Day. We have AJ Styles, Big E, and of course, Finn Bauer. All three of these men have championship potential. Which one will be going to Judgment Day in the main event to face Roman Reigns for the vacated WWE Championship? We'll find out in our main event tonight. And also, last week, Drew McIntyre. Seems like he has a mission. We don't know exactly what the mission is, but you able to beat Marcel Bartel last week. We'll see if he also defeat his partner. Newcomer here at Monday Night Raw, Fabian Eichner, as tonight Drew McIntyre goes one on one with Fabian Eichner right here on Monday Night Raw. And it seems like we are kicking things off tonight with the winner of last week's Triple Threat match. Determine who will go to Judgment Day for the vacated WWE Championship. And that man is Roman Reigns. Last week he was able to defeat both Sheamus and Kevin Owens to secure his spot at Judgment Day. Let's see what the big dog has to say. Oh, wait a minute. It seems like he's not alone. I mean, as we saw last week, on Monday Night Raw, he was with Paul Heyman in the ring last week. There was a lot of questions. Raw talk. We tried to get answers from Paul Heyman. He didn't really tell us. He just told us why Roman Reigns decided to help him. But we want to hear from Roman Reigns himself. Hopefully, we'll hear that in a few minutes. But just a reminder, guys, at Judgment Day, Roman Reigns is going to be in the main event. He wanted this spot, and now he has it for the vacated WWE Championship. The only question is, who is he going to face? Well, we'll find out later tonight in the main event as it'll be a triple threat match between Big E, AJ Styles, and Finn Bauer. AJ Styles was already on the Raw roster before, but Big E and Finn Bauer are coming over from SmackDown. As you guys know, there's only one brand in town for right now, and that is Monday Night Raw, which showcase all the top superstars. But it seemed like Roman Reigns wants to be the top superstar. And after last week of live when Paul Heyman made official, it's quite clear that Roman Reigns, this is a different Roman Reigns than it was before, that we even knew before. Before last week, the last time we saw Roman Reigns, if you guys remember, was when the Austin Payne took him out at the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. But this Roman Reigns is a lot more different. Oh, you see, he's telling us to watch Raw Talk. I wanted to hear him. I see. So he waited almost two years for this opportunity. Well, you heard it from him himself. His new mission here on Raw is to win that WWE Championship. Well, Roman, you have to face one of these men at Judgment Day. The question is, who's it going to be? Is it going to be phenomenal AJ Styles? Is it going to be SmackDown, now Raw Superstar Big E? Or is it also going to be SmackDown, now Raw Superstar Finn Balor? We'll find out in the main event triple threat match as AJ Styles, Big E, and Finn Balor battle for number one contendership for the vacated WWE Championship at Judgment Day, main event later tonight. And also, as I already said, Drew McIntyre seems like he's on a mission. What is that mission? Who knows? Last week, he was able to take out Marcel Bartel, and now he looks to take out Fabian Eichner. As tonight, Drew McIntyre going one-on-one -on -one with Fabian Eichner of Imperium. All that and more tonight on Monday Night Raw.
and we are back here live on Monday Night Raw, and it's time for some tag team action. We saw this man last week, Rey Mysterio, in his first match here on Raw in years against another superstar, Edge. But now he's teamed up with his son, Dominic, in tag team action. This should be one spectacle that you guys do not want to miss. I'm excited for Dominic's debut. This is going to be very, very interesting indeed. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 375 pounds. The team of Dominic and Ray Mysterio. Now, although Ray Mysterio lost last week to the returning edge, I mean, again, what a what a night for Edge's return. First Raw match in almost a decade. What an interesting and amazing sight for Radar Superstar. Glad Ray was his first opponent, but it seems like he's moved on from that. He's now team with his son Dominic. Let's see how these two fare in tag team action to kick things off on this huge edition of Monday Night Raw. We have a bunch of stuff to come here. And an interesting pair of opponents indeed, because last week they sure as heck made an impact defeating the newly formed RK Bro with Randy Orton and Riddle. Elgato Del Fantasma looks to make a statement here on Monday Night Raw. And their opponents at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wild. Legado Del Fantasma. And once again, for the second week in a row, conspicuous by his absence, is the leader of Logado Del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. As we heard on Raw Talk, Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Rye, if you haven't seen it, sort of check it out here on the channel. They said Santos Escobar told them that for right now, these two are all that are needed to accomplish their goal here on Raw, and that is to dominate. Again, coming from NXT, they are just one of many superstars that are coming from NXT and also from NXT UK as well as SmackDown because as I stated before Eric Bischoff has said that as of right now Raw is the only brand in town so all the superstars want to make a name for themselves here on the red brand but right now guys it's about to be some tag team action kick things off in our very first match here on Monday Night Raw the Mysterios Dominic and Rey Mysterio taking on Logal Van Tasma's Raul Mendoza's and Joaquin Wild. Right now starting the match, Joaquin, no my bad, Raul Mendoza and Dominic. It'll be interesting to see how Dominic fares here considering this is his very first match in front of a live audience. Again, ever since the hiatus, a lot has changed, a lot has happened. See some new faces here, old ones like Rey, finally getting that opportunity that he didn't get before. Supposed to be on 205 Live, but that did not happen, unfortunately. I was glad to see his son is here. Also, our own Mendoza coming from NXT. As well as Joaquin Wild. Still to come tonight, guys. Triple Threat main event. AJ Styles, Big E, Finn Bauer, whoever wins that match will be part of the second half of the main event at Judgment Day, which will be for the vacated WWE Championship. The first title will be crowned at Judgment Day. We'll see who become the face of Raw, as we'll see who becomes the WWE Champion. No, Raw Reigns part of the match. Will it be him? Who knows? And now we know why he's aligned with Paul Heyman. He wants that title. He wants people to acknowledge him. Will that happen at Judgment Day? We'll find out. But it seems like Dominic might have to acknowledge Joaquin Wild, who's currently in the ring. Never mind. Nice reversal right there from Dominic. But all these teams are going to be vying for an opportunity in the future because, again, all the titles are vacated. We don't know when the Raw Tag Team titles will be showing up. We know they exist. We just don't know when they'll be showing up. Right now, our King Wild got the tag there to our old Mendoza. Dominic is fearing off right now. Oh, man, he missed. It seems like he isn't that much of an expert in the ring. He is new. Right now, the veteran. Oh, man. The veteran um, Raul Mendoza. God, I'm getting them both confused. Right now, tag team match will continue after this break. 
And just a reminder, guys, if you want to support the channel, be sure to follow me and subscribe to my Twitch channel. Raw continues. And we are back. Tag team action here on Monday Night Raw as Dominic and Rey Mysterio are teaming up to take on Logato Del Fan Tasma. In tag team action, both teams, again, they're going to have to make their stake and make their claim and press Eric Bischoff. We don't know when the Raw tag team titles are coming. Because those are one of many titles that are going to be part of Monday Night Raw. But as Eric Bischoff say, we start things fresh to give people an opportunity to showcase themselves. We saw like Alpha Del Fantasma pick up a huge win against RK Bro last week. Can they have the same magic and take out the team of the family team, I should say? Dominic and Ray. Mysterio down to get a tag to the 619 match himself. Ring Zero. Here it comes, Ray. All over Joaquin Wild. Ray Mysterio is not letting up on Joaquin Wild. As a reminder, guys, main event, triple threat, Big E, AJ Styles, and Finn Bauer. We're vying for that main event spot at Judgment Day for the vacated WWE Championship. Looks like Joaquin Wilde's going to the outside. Power bomb to the outside of Rey Mysterio. That could pretty much be it right there as the referee is counting. Right there to count it too. That was Ray. Oh, he got back out. The referee will have to now restart the count. Again, if I was bringing this here, I will try to get back in the ring or try to get himself back in the ring before the referee counts to 10 as Dominic even realized what was going on. Let's try to persuade the referee to make sure the ref does not get to the count of 10 in time. And it's like Ravens here broke the count once again. They're making Joaquin Wild pay after power slam to the outside. Oh, wait a minute. What is Joaquin Wild going? Oh, my God. Face first to the ground to Ray Mysterio. Count of five. I mean, this count of six, guys. One of them has to get back in the ring. Otherwise, it's going to be counted out. Ray Mysterio, if they get back in the ring, count of eight. Joaquin Wild, you should get back in there. Tag the Dominic. Count and I will Joaquin Wild make it back in. He did not make it in. The Mysterios just stole one. But look out, Del Vantab. Look like the honeymoon phase is over for Vantab. Here's some replay that you did not see. Thanks commercial break. Mysterio was able to hit the 619. Look out, Vantab. Phantasma was. Looked like they had the upper hand, but Ray Zero was able to outsmart him. Keep him out there as long as possible. Missed some great tag team action before. But it was just wasn't Here enough. Are your winners, the team of Dominic and Ray Mysterio. It was enough for Phantasma to take down Mysterio tonight. Nice veteran move there by Ray Mysterio. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. Well, guys, earlier today, if you did not see exclusively on my channel, you saw Trent Stevin was just minding his own business. And then, of course, the cowardly Seth Rollins decided to do unthinkable and just attack him backstage. It was just probably one of the most disgusting sights I've ever seen here as far as me doing this. Seth Rollins, again, used to be well-liked backstage. It's just he's been on a tear as of late. He's just pissed that he is not part of the WWE Championship match at Judgment Day. So he's taking out frustration on Trish Evans, who, mind you, picked up a huge upset win over Seth Rollins. Could possibly be the reason why he attacked him backstage. You, you did not see this. This is up on the channel. 
right now. You can watch it anytime here on the man. But the ruthless alternate seven, I was told he got sent to the hospital. Tyler Bate is with him. Well, hopefully, I can provide an update later on tonight. But yeah, sign tells me a judgment day when it's Tyler Bates' debut match against Seth Rollins. Things just became very, very personal against Seth Rollins. Just a completely different person than we must knew him. He used to be the proud hero of Monday Night Raw, and now it's just completely, in my personal opinion, just went to the dark side. Well, it seems like Tyra Bay is in the building and he's looking for Seth Rollins. But right now, we're switching gears to women's action here on Monday Night Raw. As a wise man once said, it's boss time. Now here is a woman who has been very impressive since coming to Monday Night Raw. Sasha Banks, formerly a SmackDown superstar, but thanks to the draft, now part of Monday Night Raw last week, she picked up a huge win her very first night against a fellow SmackDown star, Alexa Bliss. But tonight she's facing a Raw veteran in Tamina. Can Sasha Banks continue her momentum here on Monday Night Raw in pursuit of the Raw Women's Championship whenever that becomes available? We'll find out. I mean, I've been depressed with Sasha Banks on the SmackDown side of things. And see, like on Raw, she is not disappointing at all. And speaking of the Raw veteran, here and comes Tamina. Accompanied by Natalia from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! As I said, Tamina, a Raw veteran where we last saw her. She was on a collision course as well with Becky Lynch and Alicia Fox for the Raw Women's Championship Sunday. I mean, at SummerSlam. I said Sunday. It was on a Sunday. It was going to be at SummerSlam. Unfortunately, I hate this happened. A lot of stuff went down. As you see, Tamina is now partners with fellow SmackDown superstar, now Raw superstar, Italia. Also part of Raw roster, thanks to the draft. We'll see how Tamina fares now. With new form alliances. Again, a lot has happened in the hiatus. New alliances have formed new superstars here on the red brand. The same amazing action right here. Women's action. Sasha Banks, Tamina. One on one. Can Sasha Banks continue her momentum or will Tamina make sure that momentum comes to a stop here tonight? Well, as you saw backstage, so, so breaking news, as per Eric Bishop, you saw backstage at Judgment Day. After that count out win with the Mysterios over Logal Del Fantasma at Judgment Day, they will have a rematch. But to make sure a count doesn't happen, Eric Bischoff said it will be a table match. So Judgment Day, guys, it will be Mysterios taking on Logal Del Fantasma in a table smash. That is going to be very interesting. First, we start put themselves through their opponent, I should say, through the table. They don't want them to go through the table. Will we be the victor? And that should be very, very interesting. Right there. And you saw Tyler Bate is in the building. Seth Rollins was in the building earlier. You saw as he attacked Trent Seven. Is he still in the building? Who knows? And if I was Seth Rollins, I would not want to be in the building if Tyler Bate is still here looking for him. 
That's just me. But right here, going back into the action, Tamina is already taking it. Sasha Banks, you need, these two used to be allies way back when Sasha Banks first started. But Sasha Banks has came to her own, went on a SmackDown brand, compete against the likes of Charlotte, Alexa, as well as Asuka. But now here on Monday Night Raw, she looks to prove herself again. One more Owens champion in her own right. Amazing Hurricane Rana. Again, this is athleticism we're going to see here by the boss. This is able to overpower the powerhouse that is Tamina. And went out with influence from Natalia. Who knows how pretty much dangerous Tamina could be. Oh, look. Go for the super kick. Sasha Banks was able to reverse it. Knee straight to the face and a clothesline from Sasha Banks. Again, all of the women as well as the tag as well as everyone here is vying to showcase to the boss, Eric Bischoff, are they worried for contendership for the title? Because as we know, not only are the Raw Women's Championship this year, the newly formed women's tag team titles here as well. So if for win for Tamina to showcase Eric Bischoff that her and Natalia could be eligible for women's tag team whenever you become available. But right now, Sasha Banks is in control. Now looking for the bank statement. This could be it right here. Tuesday put out Alexa Bliss with this last week of Monday Night Raw in her debut. Was she able to do to Tamina? And I don't know if she... No. She was not able to. It looks like Sasha Banks is trying something different. Going for the frog splat, but Tamina had her knees up. Sasha Banks quick back on her feet, able to come back from it. Still to come, the guys in our main event. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Sasha Banks going for it. Oh, man. Cross neck breaker by the boss. As I was saying, the main event is coming. Triple threat match. Big E, AJ Styles, and Finn Bauer all vying for the second half of that main event at Judgment Day for the vacated WWE Championship where one of those three men will face Roman Reigns for the vacated WWE title. Oh, uh, look, going a little old school. Three amigos. Can she hit the third and final one? Yes, she does. Of course, a tribute to Eddie Guerrero, one of her favorite superstars of all times coming up. Pretty sure Eddie Guerrero would love to see that. Both of you women have a lot to prove. Oh, man. I'm about to say, both of you have a lot to prove. But to me, with that Samoan and drop, and she believes, she's been right here. She belongs here on Monday Night Raw and deserves an opportunity at the Raw Women's Championship. Look like to me, look like she's about to end things right here with the splash in. Fair about, it's to a turnabout is fair play, I should say. That's Sasha Banks was able to put the needs up. And here comes the full fledged bank statement if she has a fully locked in will Tamina tap if she does two weeks in a row Sasha Banks is victorious oh man if I was Sasha Banks I would be on cloud nine right now good effort by Tamina but the balls are showing why she belongs here on Monday Night Raw again fully into the bank statement with the knees. I think that was able to give her a little bit more pressure. Making Tamina tap out right there. Here is your winner, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks again proving why she belongs here on Monday Night Raw. The Raw Women's title could be good to her whenever it decides to show up. You keep getting those W's, Sasha, and it could very well be yours and within your grasp sooner rather than later. Well, guys, still to come, the main event of Monday Night Raw. We'll find out the real main event of Judgment Day. As we already know the first half, Roman Reigns. We'll know the second half by end of the night as AJ Styles, Big E, and Finn Bauer. All three of these men will compete in a number one contender triple threat match for the vacated WWE Championship match. That main event will happen tonight. As you see, guys, 
Tyler Bate is pacing around backstage. He is looking for Seth Rollins again. If I was Seth Rollins, I would have left the building already. Maybe he has left the building. Maybe Tyler Bate is just doing this, unfortunately, in vain because he's not here. And continuing with women's action, guys, it is time for a very special six-woman tag featuring all new women here on Monday Night Raw coming up from NXT first, The Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. When the draft happened, it wasn't just from superstars from Raw and SmackDown to fill up the roster on this newly formed Raw. It was also the superstars from NXT and NXT UK, and we was literally, my apologies guys, Rhea Ripley was one of those lucky women from NXT and NXT UK to be part of Monday Night Raw. I'm pretty sure we make the most of her opportunity. Former inaugural NXT UK Women's Champion. Now looks to make a statement here. Monday Night Raw, whether going for the Raw Women's title or Women's Tag Team title, we have no idea. This seems like it's going to be a nightmare for anyone who steps in the way of Rhea Ripley. The six women tag me. Very interesting. Look at some future stars here on the red brand for the women's division. And speaking of the future, here it comes. Nikki Ash. Now, there's actually a very interesting story with Nikki Ash. That she was already on the SmackDown roster. However, she's never was able to make her debut due to the hiatus. She was going to make it after SummerSlam. And from Glasgow, Scotland, almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. I mean, during hiatus, it seemed like she had a lot of time. Things up over. And gone is her days as... The Twisted Sister from Sanity, it seems like she's a superhero now. Well, regardless, congrats, Nikki Ash. You're finally here on Monday Night Raw. That is the only brand in town right now. Looks to make an impact here in the women's division. Again, it's so much. The death of this women's division is just amazing. You saw Sasha Banks here earlier. Of course, you got Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Asuka. The list goes on and on, Alexa. And this is one I have been very, very looking forward to. Io Shirai. And their partner from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. One of the standouts in the Mae Young Classic as well as a former NXT Women's Champion. Io Shirai has what it takes, possibly literally the top star in Monday Night Raw in this very stacked women's division. I think out of everyone, Io Shirai could be the immediate standout from the new recruits from NXT and NXT UK. I am definitely looking forward to see what Io Shirai is capable of. I mean, we know how good the Japanese wrestlers are. You know, Shinsuke Nakamura, Kira Toyizawa, Asuka, and Io Shirai follow in the footsteps of those that came before her. So right now we know the first team of this showcase NXT talent. But I misspoke, guys. I said it's gonna be NXT, but here comes Raw Superstar Mandy Rose. And their opponents first. From Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. Now, granted, she was from NXT and from Tough Enough. And she was on Monday Night Raw before the hiatus happened. So she isn't technically classified as part of the NXT, NXT UK roster now on Raw. But it was close enough that I guess Eric Bischoff decided to her to be featured in this six-woman tag. Besides, she's on her own now. No more absolutely was the last time we saw her. 
was with Absolution, so now that's over. She's all on her own. Let's see what Manny Rose can do here on Monday Night Raw with this, again, the most stacked women's division in the history of Monday Night Raw. Talent from all four brands under one roof. The possibilities are endless for the three matches here on Monday Night Raw. And again, continuing the talent. I apologize, Mandy. Continuing the talent from NXT. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Raquel Gonzalez, former NXT and women's, as well as the women's tag team, one of the few women on the roster to hold both titles. Raquel Gonzalez is sure to make a huge impact, considering she's literally the tallest woman here in the women's division so right there she has the advantage but it's not just about height it's about strength and Raquel Gonzalez sure has that I mean look at the muscles showcased by Gonzalez herself right there I would be afraid I would not want to get in the ring with her at all I mean seriously just look at it she's taller than me And here comes a superstar who, if it wasn't for our haters, I'm pretty sure would have been the top star of Monday Night Raw. And their partner from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. Six woman tag feature NXT talent next on Monday Night Raw. I hope you guys are all enjoying today's episode of Universe Mode. If you like today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we are back, guys. And you just saw that kick from Io Shirai. Look, you're going for the moonsault, the padded moonsault. But it did not, she was not able to get it <laughs> against Raquel Gonzalez. She was able to get out the way. Six woman tag featuring NXT talent with Mandy Rose. I apologize to classify Manny Rose as an XT talent. But as we have on the first side, Io Shirai, Rhea Ripley, and Nikki Ash taking on the team of Mandy Rose, Shayna Baszler, and Raquel Gonzalez. All these women in their very first appearance, minus Mandy Rose, here on Monday Night Raw, all look to make a statement on a very deep, possibly the deepest women's division we've ever had on Monday Night Raw. Before, we had the likes of Becky Lynch, Carmella, um, Alicia Fox, Tamina. But now this division is just purely stacked to the moon with talent. And just as this right here is a showcase, all six of these women look to prove themselves to the boss, Eric Bischoff. As I said before, all the titles are vacated. Rhea Ripley going for the cover, but it was a real break. All the titles are vacated. So everyone has the same opportunity and everyone looks to make a name for themselves here on the red brand. Rhea Ripley right now, Gar Gonzalez. These two used to be best of friends actually in NXT. Not a lot of people know that. Before they actually made their team debut, they used to team up a bunch of times during the touring on the NXT brand. But they decided to go to separate ways and obviously Rhea Ripley had a lot of success by herself. Maybe a lot more than Raquel Gonzalez has wished. Right now, here come Nikki Ash again, showcasing all the women, the new women here. Monday Night Raw, but Raquel Gonzalez going for the power slam. Could be it right here. One, two, and Rhea Ripley was able to make sure that count of three did not happen. Oh man, what an elbow by Rhea Ripley! Still to come tonight, guys, in our main event, triple threat action. As AJ Styles, Biggie, and Finn Balor will compete in a triple threat match for number one contender shot for the Vate. Kata again, a power saved by Raquel. Good hit, low break. This time, Nikki Ash was saved by the ropes, not Rhea Ripley this time. All three of these women will be going. Not all, th all three of these women on both sides. I meant to say all three of the men will be going for an opportunity. For the VKW Championship tonight in a number one contender triple threat match. And the winner of that match will face Roman Reigns for the VKW Championship at our very first pay per view back in almost three years. 
Judgment Day win. Here it comes. The Ace of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Again, as I said, Shayna Baszler. Here we go. The Carafuda Clutch. Luckily, Rhea Ripley was able to make sure that did not happen. And um, Mandy Rose, if I were you, I would get out the ring. You know, referee has a count of five. Wait, the referee's had a count of three. She has two more counts, and it's, she better get out. I mean, Rose does not want to get out. I mean, she's going right after Nikki Ash. Wait, what? Did Mayro just cost her team the match? I don't think Shayna Baszler even realized it. She just... I think the Mini Rose delivery just cost her team the match? Wow. I... I did not see that coming. Well then, guys. Um, instead of come. Drew McIntyre. He's on a mission. What is that mission? Who knows? But right now, he takes on the second half baby I can use successful. Last week, get Marcel Bartel. We'll see how he fares tonight and get the other half of Imperium, Fabian Eichner, here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Welcome everyone back to Monday Night Raw. And man, oh man, no pun intended, the man is here, Becky Lynch. Saw last week in a promo that she has a completely new edge to her. As the last are the hero again. What happened? This I used to change everyone. Seth Rollins used to be the hero. Now he's just the guy who beats up people backstage. And Becky Lynch. Seemed like she went Hollywood, if you ask me. The glasses, the leather jacket. This is not the Becky Lynch I remember. But it seems like she's just just all this she's just oozing confidence. You see on the Titan Tron, the man. I mean luckily it kept the music. One of my favorite songs of hers. But luckily she, she kept it. But what does Becky Lynch have to say? She said before again, the Raw Women's Championship is hers. And she wants it. Yes, as we know, it was supposed to be SummerSlam, Becky Lynch versus Alicia Fox. Unfortunately, that never happened. She was indeed one of the top draft picks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, it seems like Becky Lynch, uh, you might have someone who disagrees with you. Here comes the ball, Sergeant Banks. You already competed earlier tonight. What is she doing back out here? Yes. I mean, Sasha Banks, the fact that she's already back out here after her amazing performance earlier tonight with Tamina, it seems like, again, Sasha Banks has something about what Becky Lynch just said about back in the line. I think, I mean, Sasha Banks has proven herself for the past two weeks now on Monday Night Raw. Well, let's see what the boss has to say. Yeah, that is true. I mean, again, two weeks in a row. She's proven it. She have wins over Alexa Bliss and now a veteran Raw superstar in Tamina. Wait, Becky Lynch is going to wrestle tonight? Oh, no, never mind. She said not in this city. Wait a minute, could we possibly see a match at Judgment Day between these two? Well, this will be a match I would definitely see. We weren't able to see it before because they are both from different brands, but now since Sasha's on Raw, can we possibly see at Judgment Day for the first time ever here? 
Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks. That's a match I definitely want to see. Well, guys, still to come tonight, AJ Styles, Big E, and of course, Finn Bauer, the leader of the Bauer Club. Or is he friends by now? Who knows? Regardless, Triple Threat, main event tonight. Number one contendership for the vacated WWE Championship as Monday Night Raw continues. Thank you again, guys, for watching today's episode of Monday Night Raw. If you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Don't miss any of my universe mode. Let's continue Monday Night Raw. Welcome back, guys, to Monday Night Raw. And again, the newcomers just keep on coming. This is guy I know personally a lot about from NXT. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds. Roderick Strong. Now we saw what he could do in NXT with the Undisputed Era, where they possibly dominated the entire NXT roster. Him, Bobby Fish, Kyle Riley, and the leader Adam Cole. Back you see it's only him. He is the last remaining survivor. He calls himself a survivor. And he is here to prove himself my name Raw. I am I am definitely excited to see what Roddy Strong here brings. Messiah the back rate, possibly the best professional wrestler here on Monday Night Raw. On a roster full of possibly the best professional wrestlers here on Raw. I mean, come on. Roderick Strong, this Raw roster is deep. Thank you, Eric Bischoff, for drafting him, I must say. And my oh my, does he have a challenge of him in his debut match. Here comes some someone. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Three years later, and the commentators still don't know when not to interrupt me. As I was saying, here comes someone who is all about domination. The almighty has called himself now. Bobby Lashley saw before he easily took out Andrade in his first match back in WWE in years. He was on a collision course with the Ascension, unfortunately. That never happened, thanks to is right here on Raw. He looks to show why he is the most dominant person here on the Red Brand, regardless if you're from Raw, SmackDown, NXT, or NXT UK. The almighty Bobby Lashley is here to put you in your place. So here we go, guys. Roderick Strong's first Mad Tier Monday Night Raw. And my oh my, does he have a challenge of him against the almighty Bobby Lashley. Still to come, guys, in our main event triple threat match. It will be AJ Styles, Big E, and Finn Bauer competing in a triple threat match for the vacated shot at the WWE title at Judgment Day. We already know the first half, which is Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is patiently waiting. I guarantee he's be watching that main event later on tonight. And also coming up next, Drew McIntyre goes one-on-one -on -one with Fabian Eichner. The other half of the period, he's able to defeat Marcel Bartel last week. Will he be able to do seeing to Fabian Eichner we shall find out also still no confirmation after that huge confrontation between Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks I still don't know yet Air Bischoff did not tell me whether or not that match is happening at Judgment Day hopefully by the end of the night we will find out but Bobby Lashley is going hard on Roger Strong's arm. I mean, that's a smart move by Lash. Roger Strong used those arms for so many of his backbreakers. I mean, even though Roger Strong's proven, he's a revised call strong. He's able to lift people as if he was a super heavyweight. Don't know how he does it. He is the pace man. He was the pace man on the speed of the air. Now he's all on the zone. 
Hopefully, Roger Strong fares well right now. That Dominator by Lashley, and the roll break is saving him. Now the only thing I'm thinking might have been over. Oh wait, he's going. Wait, is he gonna go for it? Is, is, does he have it all the way in? The Hurt Lock, does he have it all the way in? It doesn't seem like he has. And Roger Strong able to now count. Now here it comes. Strong. Oh, never mind. I thought he was coming back. Thought he was coming back, unfortunately. Again, guys, Judgment Day is in two weeks. We already have a stacked card. Again, besides the vacated WWE title. Oh, my God. Roger Strong just needs the hell out of Bobby Lashley. Just dropped him. Besides the vacated WWE Championship match, we have that tables match now. Confirmed by Eric Bischoff. Mysterio's taking on Phantasma. Knees to the gut. By Strong. Wait, is he going for it? End of party. That could be it right there. Oh my, it wasn't even. Oh, I'm about to say it was a rope. I'm about to say it wasn't even a count of one. Unfortunately. Roderick Strong. Oh my God, just throwing Bobby Lashley. Again, the reason why he's strong, I mean, could you imagine a huge upset win by Strong over. Lastly, that would be amazing. But now Bobby Lashley is now just wailing on Roderick Strong. Look at just manhandling him, picking him up. I know mean, Rod Strong is in a cruiserweight class, but god damn. God damn. Oh man, what a what a elbow by Lashley. Pure strength by the almighty. And now I think the end is near for Strong. And he got him. He got him in the hurt lock. He has him in the hurt lock. Does he have all of it this time? And he does. And it seems like Roderick Strong has tapped out. Unfortunately, Strong was not successful in his in-ring debut. But again, all the credit to him for staying up to the almighty. Bobby Lashley, my God, what a match. I mean, solid performance by Strong, but just wasn't meant to be against the veteran Bobby Lashley. Well, guys, coming up next on Monday night, Raw, wait a minute. It seems like, oh no, Bobby, what are you doing? Wait a minute, what the hell, Bobby? No, wait, no! Bobby Lashley is attacking Roderick Strong with the chair. I guess he's big a statement on the newcomers of NXT. Well, guys, as I said, coming up next, Drew McIntyre. We're going one-on-one -on -one against Fabian Eichner in the second half of the period. But what happened with these two clash? Well, McIntyre making 2-0 and disappear, and we'll find out next on Monday Night Raw. Wait, I thought we were going to commercial. Wait a minute. Look who's actually still in the building. There's no way Seth Rollins is that stupid to still be here. No way. Oh my god, he is. Here comes the visionary. I mean, after that attack that you did on Trent 7, you have the guts to show yourself here. I guess he wants to hear the, the choir. I mean, Seth Rollins, you have a date. With a very pissed off Tyler Bate comes Judgment Day, because it will be the debut of Tyler Bate, the youngest champion in history, as he takes on Seth Rollins, Rollins, Tyler Bate, for the first time ever at Judgment Day. But it seems like Rollins is out here, I don't know whether to gloat about what he did to um, Trent Seven, who knows? I mean, that is Trent Seven, as you know, is Tyler Bates' mentor and tag team partner. They form Mustache Mountain. And Seth Rollins was probably pissed at Trent Seven beat him and that huge upset win last week on Monday Night Raw. Oh, guy, he still isn't over Eric Bischoff. Like I said, Seth Rollins is a completely changed man. I mean, that is true, dude, but it's been, like, such a long time.
Ah, uh, see, here he is bringing up Trent Seven, a guy he just put in a hospital. Have you have no shame, Seth Rollins? <laughs> well, Axe and you shall receive Seth. Here comes Tyler. Oh my god, he has a chair. Tyler Bate is coming after you, Seth. I think Rollins realized that. And he is hightailing it out of here. Oh man. Tyler Bate has heard enough again. This has become way personal than just professional wrestling, man. This is personal. Seth Rollins put T Trent Seven literally in the hospital. I mean, it's all going to come to a head at Judgment Day, guys. As Rollins takes on Tyler Bate for the first time ever. And also in Tyler Bate's main roster in-ring debut. These two will be squaring off. Oh, man. Well, guys. As I originally said, coming up next, see Faye Eichner is ready. As well as Marcel Bartel. It's coming up next, guys. McIntyre. He's already 1-0 against Pierre. Can you make it 2-0? As Fabian Eichner looks to end that right now. As coming up next, Drew McIntyre goes 1-1 against Fabian Eichner of Imperium. And that happens next on Monday Night Raw. And we are back here on Monday Night Raw. And you are hearing the symphony. Could be the Symphony of Destruction for Drew McIntyre. We shall find out because here comes absolute power. Otherwise known as Imperium. Last week you saw their debut and unfortunately, even though they didn't get the win over Drew McIntyre, Marcel Bartel showed us how good he is. I mean, my God. How good is this team? Hope Fig Eigner has a better chance though. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Marcel Bartel, representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Fabian Eigner. Now, in an almost similar situation, now that I think about it, the Philadelphia Del Fantasma. Conspicuous by his absence, you know, is like the seven, eight feet tall giant from Austria, Walter, who is not here. We know the reason why Santo Escobar is not here. He first said himself why he's not here. But Walter, we have, I have literally had no idea. Robin Ray from Raw Talk has no idea. Uh, we just, it's just in the dark with Walter. And Perry won't tell us anything, unfortunately. They are on their own thing about the Mac being sacred or something like that. But I'll try to get answers where Walter is. But for right now, Fabian Eichner has his hands full. Representing Imperium. But not only does he have to hopefully undo the loss that his partner, Marcel Bartel, got in the hands of Drew McIntyre, he has to actually survive Drew McIntyre. Uh, I mean, I do love that sympathy. I can, I can never say it. I know it's an E minor, though. E, e minor. It's definitely an E minor. Pretty sure he likes the sound, too, but he likes the sound of his sword slash a lot more. Here comes the Scottish warrior. Drew McIntyre. Oh, man, that sword is something. Hey, hold on, this is my favorite part. Ready? Ready? And now. Beautiful. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre had. The pleasure of being the very first match on Monday Night Raw last week since coming back from a three week high eight three weeks. I wish it was three weeks. Three year hiatus. But right now, he looks to go 2 0 and get Imperium tonight on Monday Night Raw. 
If I was Imperium, I would be very afraid because your Max Fire, he's on a mission. I don't know what that mission is, but he's definitely on one. There you go, guys. 101 action. First time ever. Drew McIntyre, Fabian Eichner, here on Monday Night Raw. This is why I like Monday Night Raw. I mean, I liked it before. But with all of the talent, the best of Raw, the best of SmackDown, the best of NXT, as well as NXT UK, the possibilities are endless. And now everyone has the same opportunity for championship gold. As we already know, Judgment Day will be crowning. Our first champion here on the Red Brand, which is the WWE Champion, Chip, or WWE Champion, either or. And we'll find out who that will be. We know one half of it is Roman Reigns. Who will Roman Reigns be facing? We'll find out in our main event, that triple threat match. Which is coming up next, AJ Styles, Big E, Finn Bauer. All three men want a shot at that title. Who will go to Judgment Day to face Roman Reigns? We'll find out later on in our main event coming up as soon as this is over. But this might be a slugfest to Drew McIntyre and Fabian Eichner. And Fabian Eichner looks to unwrite that loss that Marcel Matone fortunately took at the hand of the Scottish Warrior. Again, conspicuous by his absence though is Walter. I mean, the reality is, if Walter was here, I'm pretty sure they would have the advantage. Because obviously, McIntyre has him the height. But in terms of athleticism and speed, I think, although McIntyre is quick, there is no one who has the athleticism. I think they, if you have not seen this man in NXT, you are missing out on some footage. Let me tell you, this guy can do everything. Even though he's built as a heavyweight, he moves that crew weight. He was part of crew weight class, but he had to gain some muscle mass. That clearly muscle mass did not stop him from able to fly across the ring. Will that be showcased tonight? We shall see. If anything, I can just taking it the smart way and just grounding McTire as any means necessary. You see Marcel Martel looking on against McTire. Not forget that loss from last week. Oh man, what an elbow. From Eichner. This time he's again, he's not gonna make the same mistake as Marcel Bartel. He is just staying on Makti. That's the best thing you gotta do with someone that's the height and someone's strength is Makti. You gotta make sure you stay on him. Mr. Noki Driver. One, two, and oh no, McIntyre kicks out. Eichner cannot believe it. Now I can go on tight again. Here come the high flying abilities. Again, he used to be a cruiserweight, cruiserweight classic. Going for it, and Mac Tower is able to count it. Now look like Mac is he should not be going up that high. For someone his height. As you saw, I mean he did see Eichner get up. That's why he got off the rope and he paid for it, unfortunately. But that snake eye. Sent on by Eichner. Again, just staying on McIntyre. That's going to be your best bet. Could this be it? Could Drew tap out? Will he? He has him in there deep. And no, he was able. Okay, smart veteran move by McIntyre. Grabbing his legs. That Greg for the rope. He grabbed for that leg. And oh my god, he just kicked there. I don't think Eichner realized what he just did. He kicked the referee. I think he's trying to go for McIntyre. Rec Unfortunately, all his body made him go outside the ring. And I don't think Eichner realized that he kicked the ref. Luckily, the referee was able to maintain the poser. He didn't disqualify him. Luckily, he did not. But that was able to give McIntyre all the opportunity. And now come back. And the momentum has definitely switched in McIntyre's favor. I mean, that one slip up by Eichner. Other than that, he almost had a perfect match against McIntyre so far. Yeah. He's about to come back. Or is he? No, McIntyre with the German. With the German. Oh, man. Here comes Drew with the Claymore. Could this be it? And on one, two, and no. Eichner 
kicks out. I think that rope gave him a little bit more leverage, but no, this time he is going for the future shot DDT. And no, this time, I don't think you're gonna kick out one Eichner. You're not kicking out the second Claymore. One, two, three, McIntyre. Victorious, what a war. What a war for McIntyre. I know I mentioned that. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's calling out Walter? You're going to call him out next week? Will he accept this challenge? Wow, that is something from the Scottish, Super from the Scottish Supernova. I call him Supernova. No, that's no him die. Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre. We'll find out next week. But guys, up next, it is main event time. The phenomenal AJ Styles, Big E, and of course, I guess the Prince. Now I used to call him Leader Balak, but now it's the Prince, Finn Bauer. Triple threat match. No more contendership. The vacated WWE Championship. The main event is up next on Monday Night Raw. Well, I mean, before I get to that, guys, just a reminder that we're two weeks away from Judgment Day, and I want to give a very special thanks to Inside Riot from their song, Love and War. You might remember this song from Payback, we're writing this song once again for Judgment Day. And guys, you heard earlier tonight, the Mysterios and Logal Del Fantasia, they're not done yet. They're going to settle this match in a tables match. At Judgment Day, we, they won by count out. Can the Mysterios do it again at Judgment Day? We will find out. And also at Judgment Day, it's now official. The boss, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, the first time here on the Red Brand, we have me at Judgment Day. Sasha Banks takes on Becky Lynch. That should be very, very interesting. Also at Judgment Day, guys, first time ever. A lot of first time ever. Seth Rollins, Ty Bay. This became very, very personal after tonight. Will Ty Bay be able to get his revenge on Seth Rollins? We'll find out at Judgment Day. And then also, in the main event, we know the one half, Roman Reigns. We'll find out second half in a matter of moments. As for the vacated WWE title, who's be representing Monday Night Raw moving forward? We'll find out at Judgment Day. Roman Reigns faces the winner of tonight's triple threat match for the vacated WWE Championship. That's Judgment Day. Next week, though, as we saw, Drew McTie, he vows to call out Walter. Will he do it? We will find out also. Very special news next week, guys. It's returning to Radar Superstar Edge back in action. We will see the Radar Superstar next week. I cannot wait. And also, preparing for a match at Judgment Day. The boss, South Bacon, a very huge, huge match. The Queen, Charlotte Flair. For the first time here on Monday Night Raw, Sasha Banks taking on Charlotte Flair. One on one next week on Monday Night Raw. It is now main event time with huge 
championship implications. The winner of this show threat match is going to Judgment Day to face Roman Reigns for the vacated WWE title. Here comes the phenomenal AJ Styles, and he is looking for a championship once again. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, guys, as you already know, at Judgment Day, we know the first half of the main event, the Roman Reigns, but by the end of tonight, we'll know the second half. Will it be this man, AJ Styles? Will it be Big E? Will it be Finn Balor? We will now know by the end of the night as Roman Reigns will be facing the winner of this match for the vacated WWE title at the main event of Judgment Day. I mean, AJ Styles, he wants the title again. He used to be United States Champion. He's on a collision course to get it back in the Fatal 4-Way. But of course, that never happened at SummerSlam. But now he has a bigger opportunity for the WWE title. And talk about WWE title. If there is one person, one person who knows about getting opportunity, and this man, former, former Money to Brink holder himself, Finn Bauer, and he looks to get that title. And his opponents, first, from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! Now, I'm not going to lie, out of everyone in the Triple Threat match, although I already said AJ Styles, Finn Bauer, I think, is the closest person to get to contendership for the day type, because he literally had, officially, was the last person to contend for the day we title, because he had a money bank for case. He was going to cash in at SummerSlam, he officially announced it against Jinder Mahal, then champion Jinder Mahal, before the hiatus happened where everything just became vacated. And this has pretty much been a reset of sorts here on Monday Night Raw. It now features superstars from the red brand as well as SmackDown, NXT, and NXT UK. They're all part of Monday Night Raw now. And right now is the only brand in town. But Finn Balor, he was literally the next challenge for the title. But I think he is kind of upset that he has to go to a triple threat match just to get an opportunity that he already had the money do you can. Of course, Lee Brand, you know, life happens. But I don't think that's going to stop him. He's only, this is all one win away from getting an opportunity once again. Although it won't be at the big stage of SummerSlam, Judgment Day is the next best thing. It might be a Judgment Day for a lot of people if Finn Bauer has anything to say about it. I mean, again, he was the closest person to an opportunity for the WWE Championship now vacated, unfortunately. But it's just, yeah, unfortunately, I feel bad for you, man. I really do. But if you just win tonight's triple threat match, everything will be okay. But you have to win, though. And here comes possibly the dark horse of this triple threat match. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. Now I say Dark Horse, I mean no disrespect to the New Day. It's again greatest tag team all time. I'm saying Dark Horse because this is Biggie going in by himself. I think Air Bishop just saw there's a guy. He's big. Big meaty guy. Let's give him a shot at contendership for a WWE title. Right, he proved himself New Day, longest reign tag team champion. Now look like he's going on his own. Big E, this could be your night, man, to break out. What bad we do become number one contender for the vacated WWE title. He's here. They are behind AJ Styles, but right now it is triple threat time. Here we go. Triple threat match. You see they here for Finn. I mean, they're chanting for him. I would be chanting for him too because he did kind of get screwed out of a little bit of his opportunity because you guys don't remember. Again, it was at BS SummerSlam. Everyone, the two of the three men was on a collision course at SummerSlam. First off, you guys don't remember. Finn Bauer. He was going to face Jeremy Hall for a vacated day. Like, Whoa, Finn Balor, okay, he's going for it. Not yet. They just have to make sure that it's not happening. Again, triple threat rules, guys. No disqualification, no count out. Just the first person to get the pinball submission on someone will become the winner and go on Judgment Day to face Roman Reigns. 
You don't even have to be pinned or something to lose a match. It's just simply whoever gets that pinfall first. So that's why everyone has to be worried about each other. It's literally every person for themselves. And AJ Styles might be the odd one out considering he's the veteran Raw star. Big E and Finn Bauer are coming from SmackDown. So he might have a target on his back. But as I said, guys, Finn Bauer was literally the next person line for that said title. AJ Styles was in that Fatal 4 match for the United States title at SummerSlam against John Cena, Bray Wyatt, and Sami Zayn. Again, though, the hiatus happened, stuff changed, and now the opportunity for AJ to get championship gold. It might not be for the United States title, but I think something a tiny bit more better in place. The day title, a nice code breaker by Finn Bauer. Again, going for that submission, looked like a figure four, but again, he's not able to get it all in. What's for AJ though is no road break, but Finn Bauer is able not unfortunately be able to get all that from the figure four. You know Roman Reigns is definitely watching this match to see who he will be facing at Judgment Day. In two weeks, guys, we saw the card. Mysterios, look out to him for Tasma, ended tonight in count out, but in Judgment Day, it will be going through a tables match. This time it won't be able to end in count out, as they will literally have to put the other person through a table to win the match. Which team put the other team through a table first? We'll find out Judgment Day. Also, it's literally official. Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, first time on Raw. It would be happening at Judgment Day. That is going to be huge. Also, Seth Rollins, Tyler Bain again that main event. Doesn't they looking to be a very stacked card considering there's only one title on the line, but again, that did not stop Eric Bischoff putting on. It seemed like a solid lineup for Judgment Day. Oh man, just out. Of course, Big E mood. I don't think I realized that for that splash. Normally, it just not, never, never messes up anything. Never, hardly ever. Sling blade by Finn. Another drop. You have to keep Big E down. That's the only way your father is going to win this match. So big as E. If I was AJ Styles and Finn Bauer, though, I'll be working together. This is a smart move. Taking out Big E now is just. Well, now it's just Finn in the ring. Simply just Finn and AJ. That's a dream match right there waiting to happen. Finn Bauer and AJ Styles. Oh, man. They just saw back at the reversal. And there's no counts in this match, but you have to have the pinfall submission happen in the ring. There's not a fall count anywhere to the crowd. As Big E knows that. Going for the moves on AJ Big E once again moves out the way. I see why Air Bishop gained opportunity in this short threat man. Big E seems like he has what it takes, and again for the third time in the row from Bauer with that nice sling blade to a drop. He knows how to take out Big E. Snap suplex by Finn. Did he go for brain? Oh, I thought he was going for a brain bust, but I guess not. I'm why he called the 1916. My God, Big E, just look at the strength of this guy. Just pick up Finn Bauer like he's nothing. Like he's absolutely nothing. Oh, AJ. The hands, the quickness of the phenomenal one. Moonsault. I, I would, if I was AJ, I would went for the cover right there. I guess he saw Finn Bauer coming up. AJ Styles, Finn Bauer trying to figure out what the hell they're going to do. Oh, AJ Sullivan. They're just throwing him right over Big E. Again, choke threat match. There's a bunch of variables coming together. Damn, nice turnaround. Scoop slam by Big E. Just grabbing Finn Bauer. He's manhandling him like a child. And here comes Big E with the big splash. That could be it for Finn. God, just to look at just again the strength of the Big E is just incredible. They're just tasting the spit out of him. Did you just see all that spit come out of 
Big E and Jay Styles slapped the hell out of him. My God. Oh, wait, big ending. AJ Styles just literally used this Big E's own move. Talk about insult to injury. AJ Styles does not care. Again, he won his shot at the Davey title. He got screwed out of the United States opportunity. That SummerSlam thinks I ate it. He wants that shot at the Davey title. So does Finn Bauer again. As anyone want, has deserved the right to the Davey title, it has to be Finn Bauer. I mean, come on. He was literally the next person in line for the Davey title. And here comes Finn. My God, Big E just taking him down. Again, triple threat. You have to make sure, though, that person is not up to get the victory. Well, AJ Styles is taking a breather right there. Now, coming back. I'm trying to figure out what the hell he's going to do with Big E. I get into the ropes. Well, you going for a, I don't know, suplex, but Big E was able to reverse it into a German. Belly to belly. Power David quickly come back, take him down. Triple threat match again. Anything could happen. One false mistake could screw you over. You don't even have to be pinned or submitted to lose the match. Just imagine that. I was going for the cover and a kick out thanks to Finn Bauer. Taking down AJ. These two. Again, they never even crossed paths before. Prior to WWE. You know, they were both in the same area in Japan. You know, just imagine that dream match between AJ Styles and Finn Bauer. I'm looking forward to it. Now AJ again just calling up Finn Bauer. He got it all over Finn now coming back. DDT by Finn. And he's going for DT to Biggie. Biggie saw it coming. Biggie saw it coming. Why was AJ now? Stay on. Stay on Big. Not Biggie. I was a Biggie to belly. Whoever wins this triple threat match. Will go to the main event adjustment day to face Roman Reigns for the vacated WWE title. AJ Files finally got that slap. Well, from second row, so probably not been effective going on the top rope or springboard. It's still effective. Either we're going for now, born for Finn Bauer. Fight. Oh, Cooter Cross. He's able to get the cover. One. Oh, no. AJ Styles saw it coming. It's going to be hard for either of these men. To get a pinfall or submission, thanks to that other person being in the ring. But what a what a sequence! They just have to try to go for final aura. Finn Bauer got out the ring, but he had to quickly get back in the ring just to do a grab. Finn Bauer is literally something else, I must say. Oh, slamming Biggie down to the mat. For a second rope to the grouse? Or no, maybe not. We saw it coming in a missile drop kick by Finn to AJ Styles Hurricane Rana. AJ Styles is now back up. Can he come back? AJ Styles is definitely. Oh, never mind. I was definitely coming back. But damn, this manhandling. Just straight up manhandling. We saw that. To freaking AJ Styles and now Big E with the big slam. AJ Styles is literally squished. I don't care if anyone says after that. The power. Trying to come back. Get that momentum going. Me straight to the face. Big E 
taking out AJ Styles now. Yes, dude. If I was one, if I was Finn Bauer, I would get one of these two out the ring just to try to pin the other guy. That's trying to be your best shot. Your best chance at taking out one of them. AJ Styles. Here he comes. Phenomenal forearm. But Big E's still in the cover. No. AJ Styles saw that one coming. What an amazing triple kick. Right, a big ending. Big ending. One, two, and no. No. Unfortunately not for Big E. From Bauer. Boom. Damn, what a spear. All right. Here's oh, the cab crusher. Does he have it locked? Oh, no, Finn Bauer. Gotta make sure that did not happen. If I was trying to go for the, what is it, the 1916, I believe he calls it. Calling up someone. Oh, man, going for an arm again for Finn Bauer. Did get out of harm's way? What? Ting. Finn Bauer. Make sure he's not part of that equation anymore. Guys, literally anyone can win this match. I don't know who's going to win it or who wants it more. That's the real question. Who wants it more? AJ Styles, Finn Bauer, Big E. I think AJ Styles, you got one hand, AJ Styles, who literally was the longest reigning champion on Raw at the time with the United States title. No one's taking it from him. They got taken from him. And they said triple threat match, ironically enough. They got taken from him. <laughs> and they triple threat match. Oh, man, Big E. It was a knock off AJ Styles off the second rope. I think AJ Styles saw that one coming. Snake Eye from the big man. Styles had the counter. What an amazing triple threat match that we have so far. Big E squatting for that suplex. AJ Styles going to be feeling that. Now just next week. Now just a week after that. Not just after even Judgment Day. He's been feeling that forever. Slamming Big E down to the mat. Tim Bauer again. Even though he's a cruiserweight. My God. The strength of this man. And the physique of him too. He's unmatched. Smart move by Finn, throwing out AJ Styles, and now it's just these two men. Well, now he did the AJ Styles, gonna do it to Finn Bauer, the squatting, the suplex. That could very well be it. But it's not my God, did you see that? He just almost took AJ Styles' head off with that clothesline. There you go, planning. Tim Bauer down to the mat. Oh man, just throwing. <laughs> just throwing AJ Styles out. Sling blade. Once again, the drop kick by Finn. DDT though. By Styles. This could be it. Oh, Styles, what are you doing? Now's not the time to talk about the New Day, Biggie. This is your opportunity by yourself. Nice splash by Styles. Very big. I was going to put this on. He wants to get to the big ending. Biggie was able to reverse. Man, oh man. He just had to be pulling that after that. Oh, damn, 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 Finn, Finn, go, oh, my God. Man, nice by Finn Bauer. Again, Finn Bauer, he knows what's at stake here. If he does not win this match, he might never 
I, I, I wouldn't say never get an opportunity that W title, but it might be very trim now with this death of a roster. Because he's kind of on new ground here. He was on SmackDown, but he's coming from Raw. I mean, he's coming from SmackDown to Raw. Arguably the A show of the two. AJ Styles was already on Raw, the vet. And now Finn Bauer. He's going to go for that coup de grace. He's going to hit it. No, AJ Styles reverse. Bauer does not care, though. Going after Big E. Well, he might hit the coup de grace. On Big E, he got all of it. He was able to get all of it, but AJ Styles. Once again, preventing the victor, AJ <laughs> preventing the victor, Finn Bauer, from getting that victory. Not, not the victor yet, Finn. We are not the victor yet. Coming right off his feet. Standing phenomenal form by AJ. Is this time going to go for the real one? Is he? No, he wasn't able to get it. From Bauer goes for the DDT. What a sequence right now. It's been looking like he was going. Another one. Oh, man. Nice knee straight to the face. Big E is filling it. Can he capitalize now on Finn? The big splash to Finn Bauer. Oh, man, he caught AJ. Two, three, four, five. God damn. The Big E, this could be your moment, Big E. He is not going to make sure the opportunity is taken from him. Ooh. And, oh man, just literally taking out Finn. Big E. Throwing Finn Bauer to the mat. And Big E, wait a minute. Big ending. Cover. One, two, three. Big E is going to Judgment Day. My God. I cannot believe it. The guy took the opportunity and he ran with it. The dark horse of the match. Big E, my God. He is going to Judgment Day to face Roman Reigns. What an unbelievable triple threat match. But in the end, it was the big man. He proved that he could do it by himself. Winner, e. Damn it, Rick announced. Let me have my moment. Big E's proved he able to do it by himself. He is now going to the main event at Judgment Day. The face Roman Reigns for the vacated WWE Championship. What a moment for Big E. Wait a minute. Speaking of Judgment Day, Big E, here is now what you have to face to win the vacated WWE title. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. Big E, Roman Reigns for the vacated WWE Championship at Judgment Day.